Uh, over the 20 years or so that the, the, the people um, who create the Body Worlds exhibition have been doing this work is they become real experts in, uh, in plastics um, and how to, to show the particular specimen to, to the best possible way. So exam for example, um, we have, there's lots of brain tissue um, here and you would use, and since brain tissue is mostly fat, you'd have to use a different uh, preparation than you would if you want to show muscle, which is mostly water. Uh, when you're doing plastination, of course, you have to remove the water and the fat from the material that you're um, going to show and then replace it with plastic so that it lasts forever. So after the body has been uh, preserved uh, in, in a fluid that will keep it uh, from, from rotting, then the fat and the water are removed and then um, and then a plastic is gradually introduced into the tissue. Now if you've got tissue that's mostly fat, you've got to use different plastics, and there are a range of different plastics, than if you were going to want to show, let's say, the, effa the effects of obesity on the body, where you really want the fat to be there to show people how it's everywhere inside the body in somebody who's drastically overweight. So this, um, uh, in, in any of these preparations, the result that you see is from careful identification of, of what you want to show and then how best to, to prepare it um, using a range of different plastics, silicon, epoxy, to be able to, uh, to show what you want to the best uh, advantage. Uh, we're here at Body Worlds and uh, it's an exhibit that we've seen a couple of times over the uh, last couple of years. Uh, I just realized that uh, their actual human bodies, which is something that's uh, really fascinating, makes you appreciate the human body a little more, uh, start thinking about things a bit. Um, I first saw this exhibit when I was in grade 11 biology, which is really fascinating, and now I'm just back for a second time because I just thought it was so interesting. I like this exhibit because it's new and it's more, it's different than how I used to go to the Science Center. They changed it up. The exhibits are better, more information to learn. Like you can, it's more, better, like they have more stuff to look at and they give you more information and reality on stuff you're reading. It's amazing and it's given me the opportunity to actually hold a real heart for the first time. And I actually want to be a cardiologist when I grow up, so this is like a life-changing experience for me. I'm really glad like, that I have this opportunity to see all these things. Uh, I think that the Science Center is pretty cool because of all the unique exhibits they have, like the body world, it's pretty cool because you've got different animals instead of just humans, and you can really see what makes humans work and the animals and the differences. And I like the heart exhibits because it's cool to see that what keeps you alive is actually so small and compact, and but yet so complicated. Um, I like how they used dead people's intestine um, organs because it like gives you a sense of how they actually like what your body looks like in the inside, so you can actually know what it looks like because it's actually real. It's hard to accept the fact that these are real people, but. Um, me as a student of science, I would be really grateful if people did donate their bodies and it helps us and um, the human knowledge grow. So um, as long as the person's fine with it, I think ethically I would say it's okay for me. Um, I think the Body Worlds exhibit is really interesting in grade 12 biology. We're studying a lot about the human anatomy and how the nervous system's working, how kidneys and nephrons work and be able to being able to see those things in real life and hold kidneys and stuff is really interesting and helps you learn and gives you a better view of things since you can actually see what it's like. Um, the staff were really friendly. They showed us cross sections of different organs and had us guess which ones they were. And even though we've learned about them extensively, sometimes it's hard to piece things together. Um, it's really interesting. Um, the, uh, the exhibit shows a lot of different diseases that we've covered in class, and now we can see them for what they really are in real life, and I find it very interesting. I would definitely hope that they have another exhibition like this in the future, but I think like everything I can think of is here right now, so thank you for having this. So I would love for my friends to come here and see all these amazing things and be inspired to do great things in the future.